Like uh, there's actually an old Def Con originals that I wrote years ago. Yeah, that I recorded, but that's it's not with this uh, lineup I have now. Oh. Uh, but now we have the nineteen nine uh, the two thousand nineteen Resurrection tour. We got a song Resurrection. I got one that I was writing for the film. It's called The Last Two. Yeah, yeah. I got that song, oh. uh, and then we're working on another one. Uh, it's going to be called False Faith. Okay. That's. Uh, I'm hoping to have that one. Uh, it, maybe not ready for this week, but the next gig it will be. That's know. an intriguing title. Yeah. False Faith. I like that. I like that. Well, False Faith, it's basically, it's, you know how people, like, I mean, people come to your door, whatever, people trying to push their faith on you. Yes. I don't need it. Right. I, you're welcome to praise a shoe if God, you know, I don't care what it is. If it makes you happy, do it, but just don't force it upon other people. Right, right. And that's kind of the gist of the song. Oh, you know? very good. Very good. I think I'm doing okay the way I am. I don't need anybody telling me what to pray for. Now there is one, one oh, hello to our Jenny in the Facebook live chat. Hi, Jenny. There is one, one concern though, Scumpy. There's that whole hell thing. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. You it's might all end- the devil's music. <laughs> no. Right, with all the devil's music that you play, yeah, right. might it not be time to, you know, ask? I mean, I know Trump says he doesn't ask for forgiveness. He thinks he's all good, but you might want to. Oh, oh please forgive me. Please, please. That was very sincere. I think you're good now. All right. I, I think, think you're I all be set. perfect, yeah. Well, you, and you, do you accept him as your Lord and Savior? Uh, Lord? I, I, well, I think that's part of it. Yeah, the deal, Ozzy, too. Ozzy is my Lord and Savior. Uh, yes, Ozzy. No. <laughs> oh, no. Scuppy, you're going to end up, you're going to, I hate to say it, but you're going to end up like. Uh, I love the Black Sabbath. Uh, well. I do too. You're, I'm afraid you're going to end up like Eric's uh, Uncle Al. Oh, boy. Un- you know Eric's Uncle Al? He's dead what? now. Yeah, I know he wears a sweater. And Eric lost his sweater. And, uh, oh, he lost it. I didn't he, know that. Yeah, yeah. So my concern is that Uncle Al, Eric's uh, dead Uncle Al, is in hell right now, uh, freaking out that Eric lost his sweater. Can you believe it? Oh, boy. It's actually his ex-wife's uncle. It's not even his uncle. But still, he obviously loved him very much to keep his sweater. Yeah, geez. I, I... <laughs> oh, boy. Peter and I had some fun with that the other day. <laughs> Well, I know my brother Len used to love it too. Oh, he's got Uncle Al's sweater on again. Uncle Al's sweater. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was always good. Do you like uh Twisted Sister? Sure. Do you like uh do you like the song Burn in Hell by Twisted Sister? Sure. Cuz I'm just uh, I'm getting uh, I'm I'm thinking of these songs about burning in hell. I'm worried about you, Scotty. I'll, I'll tell you though, if you listen to the, most of the Aussie songs, you know, they always thought like uh Black Sabbath Aussie, they were, you know, all devil's music. Right. But if you a lot of the songs are anti you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, uh, this isn't Sabbath, obviously. Right. This is Burn in Hell by Twisted yeah, Sister. But I, I like the the chorus. You're going to burn in hell. Yeah. Um, and then Alice Cooper has, you can go to hell. Yes. Da-da-da-da. But Alice is very Christian. He is. Yes, yes. Yep. Um, no, the thing about... Uh, uh, actually, I'm not going to. Maybe I'll play this later. It's weird to play this while we're talking about Sabbath, playing Twisted Sister. Um, no, the thing about Sabbath, this in- Sabbath to me is like the most misunderstood band in the history of rock. You're not kidding. Like if you, because yeah, yeah, the music is is dark and whatever, but the, it's not it's not satanic. It's not intended. No, to No, it's more like horror movie music, and that's what they intended to do. If you the early early interviews, yeah, they came up with this thing that they wanted to make it sound like horror movie right. type stuff, and right. And uh, Tony Iommi always came up with those licks. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the thing is too, like like Ozzy, like if you look at old pictures of Sabbath and you see Ozzy. You know, like standing at the end of the stage, flashing the double peace sign. Yeah, like he wasn't doing it ironically; he meant it. No, oh, with his big, huge cross on. Yeah, yeah. They weren't putting it upside down. No, and oh, Fred uh, shared a song in the uh, uh, "Hell by Squirrel Nut Zippers" in the Facebook live chat. Thank you, Fred. Uh, that's a good song. Um, maybe I'll play that later. Uh, we're, we're we'll make st- it a healthy. We're starting to do some funny songs. I mean, some good songs. Like uh, the old tube song, White Punks on Dope. I hope you're not doing anything that upsets the Lord, is all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hope not, too. I'm just going off the rails. <laughs> so says the uh, the godless ag- agnostic over here. Right. Um, 
That's something I think Peter and I have in common, actually, because I heard him talking about this on the morning show. I don't remember if you were a part that, of that religion. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Peter is much of a. I really don't have religion. Much as a believer either. I, um, oh, you know what I was going to say about Sabbath though? Did you know this? That uh, Geezer Butler, the bass player, um, fantastic, one he, of the best ever. He was raised Catholic, and he had actually considered the priesthood. And I was reading an, you know, I did not know that pre-Sabbath, yeah. And I was reading an interview with him once where he was talking about how when Sabbath started to get really successful, he was a little bit self-conscious because he knew how people perceived them. Right. And he was worried about his family perceiving them that way. No kidding. I did not know that. He was no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he's religious now, but but apparently he was at one time. He, he, he probably is. Yeah. You know, I mean, music's music. I, you know, you can sing about whatever you want. Right. It's an art. It's not a... Well, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I, you know, to me, a good song is a good song. It could be could be about Satan. It could be about God. It can be... Yeah. I actually like a right. lot of the Christian rock bands I hear. Well, I remember Striper was the big Christian band at one time. <laughs> yes. A friend of mine... Actually, one of the guys who plays uh, in the band The Jinxed or played in the band The Jinxed is uh, personal friends with Michael Sweet of Striper. No kidding, yeah. I always like the red and yellow. The I mean, the black. Yeah, and, the uh, black yellow, and yellow. The, yeah, well, the I Bumble like that Bee too. Thing. It's a, yeah, it's the Steelers colors so, and the Bruins colors. That's that's good stuff. I saw them with my friend. No, it was my it was with my friend Dan. Dan Randlett. We saw Striper at the Tupelo. They did uh, an acoustic yeah, set. Yeah, that wasn't long ago, right? Last year? Yeah, were you there for that? I wasn't, no, no okay. but I remember that, yeah. Yeah, that was a few years ago, and it was really good. You know, and at the end, they do the Bible toss, you know, because they always... Oh, really? I, they, they I, throw, I've never seen them live. But. They throw uh, Bibles into the crowd, which is exciting, you really? know? Really? Wow, yeah, I'd be wicked happy to grab one of those. Yeah. I'd probably need one. Well, but wouldn't you... It, I mean, come on, if you knew it had Michael Sweet's hands on it, wouldn't you be happy to... To grab that, you'd be like, wow, Michael Sweet touched this Bible. Well, I'm going to start throwing the, the Mr. Crowley Bibles out. Uh, <laughs> that's a good song. I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great song. Yeah. And you know, those songs like Mother Earth, what a beautiful song. The, the orchestration, I mean, Ozzy's done some great, great stuff. Sabbath, great stuff. Let me ask you this, though, Scumpy. I hate to, to harp on it. It's only because I'm concerned. Had you uh, had you been a good Christian boy, don't you think you might have thought twice about hitting uh, the the, the, the uh, hornet's nest with the baseball bat? Uh, no, Those are God's because, creatures, because too. I know, but when I was a kid, I was growing up, I was brought up Christ- I mean, Catholic. Oh, you were? I didn't know that. And oh. uh, But you're a kid. I mean, they're bees. Yeah, that's true. But, hey, I didn't get stung from that one. I got stung many other times, but <laughs> yeah. we just ran like hell. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you ran fast enough. When, so when did you get Well, because at night, they're not out. They're not, in, you know, they're not aggressive, you know, as of course. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's why we went out at night, and he just had the raid. Can they not I, see boom! at night, maybe? Maybe they don't see well at oh, night. I don't oh, know. I think they do. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you could look behind, and you could see them coming at you. Oh, Running yeah. under the streetlights, and they were. I only got stung once when I was a kid, but you got stung. You said hundreds of times. Oh, were, yeah. were you exaggerating, or do you no, literally? No, I think so. Same as, oh, my God. Same as snake bites, probably a hundred times. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. How's that even possible? Well, we used to, we used to go to the golf course and, uh, you know, hunt for golf balls and stuff. We'd be yeah. through the weeds and all over the place. And, and we always had a thing, uh, me and our buddies, who could catch the most snakes that year, too. Really? We'd always run in. Oh yeah, the golf always mostly just garter snakes and stuff. But yeah, you just grab them, you let them bite, and then they'd calm down. Oh okay, my god! Fine. Really? Oh yeah, and we'd even catch little frogs and feed them and stuff and all kinds of stuff. What is, is this? Some kind of fetish? Like you no. like you like being bitten I, I, and, and stung by things? But they didn't hurt <laughs> these little garter snakes. They bite you. Seems awfully masochistic. And, you know, <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, I got bit. What, there was one. I mean, I caught a, a huge garter snake one time. Got all the way around my wrist. And really? Yeah, it was it, that thing hung on? Boy, that was that was a tough one. But that would really freak but me no, out, you, dude. You, I gotta tell you, I just be freaked. No, you just grab them. You let them. <laughs> You let them bite you a couple of times and everything's fine. What if it's not a garter? Well, like, what if you think you're just grabbing a garter snake and it turns out to be a rattlesnake or something? No, I never got the rattlesnake, but uh, well, apparently not because you're still alive. Uh, but we did get corn corn snakes, and they kind of we didn't know if they were rattlesnakes. I've never even heard of that corn snakes. Yeah, you look them up, you'll see what they look like. They're, they're I'm afraid color to. And they're, and they're bigger and they're wider. So, oh my god, we wouldn't just grab those because we didn't know until, until we knew what they were, but. We take like a you take a stick you know like a twig with the V on it yeah you know yeah it yeah branches out yeah and you stick it right over their neck and then you grab the neck and then you, you know just catch them wow and then there were the green ones the grass snakes are all green they're called grass snakes grass snakes yeah they're green I think I have heard of that yeah oh my god 
There's all these different kinds of snakes. But see, I, I always hung out, you, in the, always hung out in the woods and the golf course and, and the, you know forts, and the, we were always like out playing in fields and all kinds of stuff. And the, that's, sound, that's what there was, you know. There was snakes. And, sounds so dangerous. Yeah, I'm, but I'm terrified of uh, like uh, Ryan Gorman was here the other day, and we were talking about like I'm afraid to even go in the woods. Well, you're I, really? I'm probably like the least outdoorsy person you'll ever meet. Yeah, because it's like now. Uh, and I know so many people who've had it, like you get uh, you get a deer tick or something, and then you end up with Lyme disease. Yeah, the ticks, yeah. My brother-in-law has Lyme disease, and, and believe it or not, he's from old Lyme, Connecticut. We're all oh, started. wow. So yeah. it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> no kidding. It seems that way. I um, Yeah, I've known so many people who have it or have had it, because I guess if you catch it really early, you, you'll be okay with, with what they hit you with as far as meds. But if you don't, you're just stuck with it, it and, and then you have to manage it for the rest of your life. It's crazy how many ticks are out there now, too. And I, yeah. And funny, I, you know, I'm on the golf course and still going outside all the time. I've never had a tick on me. Yeah. I've seen them. I, I had actually, you know, seen them on, like, my dashboard in my car. Hey, that's a tick. Well, they might look at you, and they're just like, that dude is grabbing snakes and hitting hornet's nests. We're not even going to bother <laughs> yeah, with him. Right. He's like, uh, uh, he's, he's a maniac. We, 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 we can't take him down. Right. No, I'm legit like terrified now. I'm like I'm not an outdoorsy person anyway. I've never even been camping in my entire life. The only thing that creeps me out the most is spiders. I don't like oh, spiders. Oh, yeah, I don't like spiders either. I used to have a friend Jeff Sleesman, he'd just pick up spiders and stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I don't like spiders either. I'll I'll And they run them. so fast. And, oh boy. And and I've been bitten, Some of them, yeah. I've been bitten by them before too. You've been bitten by spiders? Yeah, they say those are spiders. It's a spider bite. Yeah, and it just starts swelling. Oh, you got bit by a spider. Oh, really? That's oh. a real thing. I thought that was just like the tattoo shop oh. up the street. No, this, this, yeah. Oh my god! So, how many times have you been bitten by various things in your life? Like <laughs> thousands? Know. A lot of snakes. That's crazy to me. Wow! You should uh... ants, beetles. You know, you really? Them, yeah, you get the big beetles. They just bite you with those little cross things. You go, all right, I can handle it. Uh, well, apparently. Well, yeah, I don't know this guy just used <laughs> when I was a kid. And he was wicked in the bugs and animals and all that stuff. So yeah, I, he always knew what they were. So he'd do it. Like, oh yeah, I grabbed that. Like, wow. And after, especially like snakes, they didn't bother me anymore. I it caught so many of them, got bit so many times. It was not, not a big deal. Jeez. <laughs> okay. I I don't know, man. That would freak me out. I don't ever want to be bitten by. Uh... You ever? Are you a wrestling fan at all? You know, I followed it. You know, off and on. Oh, back in the day, but not not now. You should uh, sometime. You should look up uh, like if you go on YouTube and just type in uh, Jake the Snake Roberts. Macho- oh, I remember Jake the Snake. Do you remember him getting? I do. Do you remember uh, him making the snake bite Macho Man Randy Savage? I don't. Ooh yeah. Oh, that that's a good impression of. Uh, yeah. That's my favorite wrestler of all time. Oh, I loved him too. And but, of course, Elizabeth was gorgeous. Yes. Too. Well, yes, yeah. yes. Now there's a video of. Uh, they uh they did cuz they they had the storyline going with uh Jake Roberts versus Macho Man and they did this thing where Jake cuz Jake always carried a snake to the right room, yeah. and and Jake had the snake like like he had Macho Man tied up in the ropes and he had the snake bite Macho Man's arm and it was supposed to be defanged oh, wherever my. they got the snake from and it wasn't and so it sinks its its fangs into Macho Man and he starts bleeding and that wasn't supposed to happen. Wow! It, lo- it ended up looking great on TV, but they had to figure out how to to somehow they were able to eventually uh, get the snake to uh, disengage. But that wasn't supposed well, to happen. The snake was supposed to just look like it was biting him, but not bite him. It's like a friend of mine had one of these big pythons. It was eleven feet. And yeah, it was huge. Yeah, and when that if that thing bit you, the, their teeth they they go in in inwards. Yeah. And when they hit, it's you can't just pull them off. Oh. You have to open their jaws to get them to let go. Oh wow! Otherwise, it just it just tears you apart. Yeah, crazy. Jesus, wow! And you know this guy, the guy Harry, he had the, the snake. He used to go online and stuff. Well, not online. I don't know in the paper, newspapers, and see people giving away like little bunnies and kittens and stuff. Yeah, he'd go get them and feed them to his snake. Oh no! And it always upset me so bad. I go, yeah. how can you do that? Oh my god, no, no, because I love kitties. Big time. Oh, me I too. Mean, come on, me too. Oh, yeah. Boy. Wow. You mean k- kitties like cats? You don't mean children? Well, uh, most of the time you get like um, you know people with like uh, you know hamsters and gerbils and stuff. Really? Like that, but yeah. Still. Yeah. You can't take someone's pet and then feed it to your snake. Yeah, like, that's that's not cool. I was really upset about it. Oh, hello to uh, Thomas Massengale in the Facebook live chat. He's a good friend of uh, John Hopwood. Of course, John's not here. Have you met Virtual John Hopwood yet? I can't remember because you haven't been here in a while. Virtual, no. 
Oh, you haven't? Oh, he's uh. I don't know the virtual. Are you supposed Hopwood? to swear or no? No, no swearing. Virtual John Hopwood. Yeah, it was virtual John Hopwood. Yeah. Sometimes he uh, I don't know who that is, and I don't care. Sometimes he takes over That's, the computer. No kidding, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, and then there's nothing I can do. I mean, he's just uh, he's just there. No, you know, grow up, grow up, live in the real world. He's very can- right? take, very cantankerous. No kidding. Yeah. Does he have any compliments for anybody? I don't know. I don't know if he uh, he really ever says anything nice. Jesus, uh, buddy. I mean, uh, John Hopwood certainly does, but I don't yeah, think... Yeah, John I, Hopwood, I get along great with him. Yeah, I, I, Virtual listen. John Hopwood, you know what? He's uh, Sometimes he, he'll try to sound like he's uh, saying something nice, but he's uh, he's very sarcastic. Virtual what sounds angry. Oh, whoa. How stunning. What what a stunning wit. See? Like, he, he didn't mean it, clearly. But, uh, yeah, that sounded a little bit, you know... Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, taking, I'm taking my hat off to you. You got oh, me. Oh, there you go. That was nice of oh, him. Oh, yeah. But you know he didn't mean that one either. Probably not. That was probably more sarcasm. Boy, That's what I, I mean. That's, yeah, it sounds like virtual is all sarcasm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he is. Oh, my God. I'm so devastated. Yeah, you're right. He is all sarcasm. It's all sarcasm. He might as well just be sarcastic, John Hopwood. You know, you got to get the, you got to get the real John Hopwood in here to argue with the virtual John Hopwood. Oh, they have. They've argued. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen all. Oh, I haven't heard that. That'd you should uh, you should go on YouTube and uh, search uh, John Hopwood versus virtual John Hopwood. No and, kidding. Oh, yeah. You'll get them bickering back and forth. That's gonna be funny. As hell. Yeah, it was funny. Yes, yes. And yeah, now that we're talking about hell, yeah, that's funny as hell. And I dare say, I think virtual John Hopwood kind of uh, got the better of the exchange between the two of them. No way. Yes. Oh, yes. Boy. Yes, indeed. Well, what can you do? So you maybe, know? maybe. I a- mean, do you think you disturb me at all? You're just wasting airtime. Yeah. I mean, he's, come on, dude. He's mean. He is. Yeah, yeah. I, come on, doesn't he have anything nice to say? When don't, you don't have anything nice to say, don't they say don't say anything at all? <laughs> I know. That's what I've you always. You came from a speck of nothingness. Wow. I hope that wasn't pointed at me. I don't know. Oh. I don't know who that was intended for. Well, but, uh, yeah, he just, uh, yeah, what can you do, you know? Jeez, how much dope have you smoked? I mean, you know, <laughs> hardy, har, har, right? That is pretty funny oh stuff. God. Yeah, yeah. Virtual John Hopwood. Yes. I hope I don't run into him soon. I know, right? If intelligence was electricity, this guy couldn't spark a firefly's ass. I'm pretty sure that was directed at you because you're meeting for the first time. Oh, boy, man. Boy, I'll tell you what. Well, I know you have to go. You know what, though? What I would do with the the virtual John Hopwood, I'd stick my snakes on him. Would you really? (laughs) Oh, my goodness. If he was going to be that mean. Wow. Wow, that's... uh... Listening... To you, bore the living hell out of everybody. In fact, I don't have snakes, but I'll go catch one. You, wow. All My right. neurons weren't wired on a matrix from a, a gambling program used on your social media. I mean, my God. Ooh, burn. Ooh. He got you there. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> you, you know, even John can't beat the virtual, so I don't know. Right. I got no chance. No, that's true. That's oh, true. wow. Yeah, sure. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's great stuff, man. What else what else can you say?